Well, you can see what the settings are. This is how the depth is. Okay. This is going out to, uh, I believe it was It's Me, Florida. Um, he wanted to know how it digs in uh, clay soil. Well, It's Me, FL. So it could be Florida. So anyway, you can see where I have the settings. Okay. Now the uh, gear I have in first gear. Uh, you can see it. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Good God. Ah, there we go. Um, now you can see where I have it. Second gear, that's basically, I use that for when I'm give, taking it to and from the barn there. Because um, it's such a distance. This thing is a beast to push. It's almost impossible to push. You could put it in neutral, but it's very difficult. So anyway, you can see where my settings are. And what I'm going to do is this area here. Um, that area there, okay, um, I did that the last time I filmed, hadn't been touched, so I'm going to do this here, which hasn't been touched in, since the 90s, okay, and this is all hard pan, so I'm going to do a couple of passes from here down uh, to the end down there, and I'll get a film when my cameraman's available, I'll get, uh, I'm going to film uh, it digging in that, and uh, we'll see how she does. I don't want to dig it good, but somebody wanted to show. Now, another thing, too, is if you have it in speed, too, that's pretty fast. It can get away from you. Also, if you're digging too deep, it'll get away from you, and it'll dig in and stall. It's designed to stall if it digs in too much so it doesn't get away from you. So just remember that. Kind of play with your settings. There is no speed as far as the engine RPM. It's set at what it's set at. So your only speed is controlled from your gears. So, all right. Gotta get a shot of a cat. This is Nico. Hey, nice, sweetie. She come out here to help me. She was digging in the dirt, laying in the dirt. So I wanted to get a shot of her. Uh, Cause I'm boxing in, uh, fencing in that area there um, for uh, my blueberry plants and pepper plants and that. Cause there's rabbits and deer out here and they destroy the blueberries and the pepper plants. So, you know, I'm fencing that area in, but I was trying to get the brick done on the observatory behind there first, as you can see. I'm trying to get the brick done, and I did start it. Alright, uh, this is going to be digging in. This hard can clay hasn't been touched since the 90s. Uh, just me, FL. I want to know how it dips in clay, so I'm going to show you.
chip on them, so they don't dig at. But anyway, when it tries to fall on you, you're digging too deep. Now you can reverse the twines with the setting for a barrel, which has it spinning in the opposite direction. So they'll uh, they won't get away from it as much. But it takes longer to do.
So anyway, you can see, you know, that's all hard pan clay. Hasn't been touched since the 90s. And you can see it tore it up really nice. So there you go. So yes, it will dig in hard pan clay. Just remember to uh, adjust your rod here, your depth. Obviously, the higher up, the deeper the tines go. The lower down, the less they dig in. So you can see by, you know, the height of it. So anyway, there you go. This is for just me FL, which I believe is just me Florida, I'm not sure. But down there, you should just have sand. So anyway, you can see it does a good job. So anyway, if you want to subscribe, hit the little B in the bottom right-hand corner. And if you, do, you know, hit the uh, thumbs up, something about algorithms or something. I'm up at 180, almost 184,000 views and 187 subscribers, I think. <laughs> Got to have 1,000 to make money. You know, I'm too old to get 1,000. Pass the word, get 1,000. Let's help this, let's help this asshole out. So anyway, I just really appreciate everybody watching my videos. And if you learn something, that's what counts.